Two vehicles were pulled from the Ohio River after being in the water for more than a month. It was a joint effort between different agencies as well as local businesses. Eyewitness News to Sherry McBroom has details on how these cars got into the water in the first place and why it took so long to retrieve them. After a month of trying to figure out when this removal could take place, two vehicles were removed from the Ohio River. The first vehicle was retrieved close to Marina Point after going into the water on May 21st. Evansville Divisional Fire Chief Mike Larson says they had to wait to remove the vehicles until the weather and tides cooperated. And it's primarily taken so long to get these vehicles out because Mother Nature hasn't been cooperating with us very well. Uh, weather conditions, the, the level of the river, the speed of the river, and things like that weren't making it safe enough for our divers to go in and, and hook to the car to be able to retrieve it. Chief Larson says one of the vehicles could have caused issues if not removed. This, this uh, particular vehicle, where it was at the, uh, the mouth of Marina Point, created a, a boating hazard at, that we obviously needed to retrieve. The incident involved a juvenile who was under the influence but made it out of the car safely. Luckily, um, she was able to get out and actually swim to shore. Obviously, people saw it happen, called 911 for water rescue. Um, the, uh, the juvenile was intoxicated. The removal of a second vehicle took place at the mouth of Pigeon Creek, stemming from a March 3rd incident involving a couple. I think he got confused, was trying to actually put the vehicle in reverse to leave and actually put it in drive and drove right into the river. Uh, luckily, the female was able to get out and get to shore immediately, um, but the male actually was in the water and was able to uh, grab a hold of a tree, and I believe the fire department actually had to go and, and rescue him out of Skeeter Wayne watched as the cars were pulled from the river with both his son and grandson helping in the removal efforts. It's a lot of teamwork goes on, a lot of cross training. Uh, I'm just here observing and uh, seeing the action that takes place. Trying to protect the environmental side of it, getting the water, getting the water and uh, everything safely protected. The removals were a joint effort between the Evansville Fire and Police Departments, Tri-State Towing, and Audubon Sand Gravel and Moy Concrete providing the crane. Reporting from the Ohio River in Evansville, DeSherry and McBroom, Eyewitness News.